because I told her that I dreamt of her and Brandon being together. And when I dreamt of it, I asked Brandon about it, and he said, oh, we're just oh, friends. We're just friends. <laughs> we're just friends. She's a member of the trail mix group. We're just friends. So I just know that I believe God, and every word of God is true. And that dream was true. It was from God. And so if God gave me that dream, not gonna preach, if God gave me that dream, for the both of you, I know that he has ordained this marriage. Yes. He has ordained this marriage. Before Brandon turned two, he went to the doctor and the doctor came out, never seen him, uh, and said, this child is special and said, this child has a purpose in life. Okay. And I'm looking like, this dude ain't even two. <laughs> As life went on, Brandon had a solid, stormed purpose. Amen. He didn't get highly upset, he didn't get highly aggravated or agitated, but he had a driven drive for success. And he let nothing stop him. take this woman to be your wedded wife? And do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and then forsaken all others for her alone? You will perform under her all the respect that a husband owes to his wife until God, by death, shall separate you. I absolutely do. <laughs> Lindsay, my daughter, did you take this man to be your wedded husband? And do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor him, and support him in sickness and in health, and that forsaken all others for him will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God, by death, shall separate you. I do. <laughs> Since therefore it is the agreement of Brandon and Lindsay to be husband and wife, I now pronounce you, husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> 